What is up guys and welcome back to a new Lego showcase. Happy Friday. And yeah, this will be my showcase on Batman the 2022 movie. It was a really good movie. Sorry, I'm just getting to the showcase. I've been busy with the Thor showcases and Doctor Strange showcases. Oh, and by the way, new Thor showcase coming out this Wednesday. So, I hope you guys enjoy that one. And, yeah, we'll get on to this Friday showcase. And first up, we have the man himself. The star of the show, Batman. And this was a really good figure Lego came out with. I used the same legs and torso piece from Legos. But, you know, it could use some upgrading. So I put the arms on there from Black Widow. As you can see, they have the nice gunmetal gray and the bullet printing. And I put some black hands there. Like I said, use the torso and the legs from the same place. From the Batman Lego made. It came in every of the sets. And I use this cape from one of the Mandalorian figures. And I use this head underneath. Pop it off. It's just the original Batman head. Comes in a lot of places. And then I put the small cowl on there. With no chin strap underneath. Because he doesn't have that chin strap one. In this movie. So yeah. And that is. Batman. And here is Bruce Wayne. Now there was a Bruce Wayne that did come with the actual. Batman Batcave. Which had the motorcycle one. But he doesn't really wear that outfit. He. Usually wears a black suit. You can use any black suit. I just took the legs, torso, arms, and hands off from the penguin. Because he's got that nice suit there. The bow there. Wish the bow was black, but I get why it's that color. I used the head from Batman. Bruce Wayne from that set I was talking about. And I used the hair from Flitwick. Since he doesn't have that like hair one that it showed in the actual set he has that like side haircut and i wish lego made his printing like with the black on his eyes would look really in and there's the back side of the face but yeah i think it's a really good figure all in all and yeah that is bruce wayne next up we have alfred and this is the same Alfred from the Batcave break-in set with, that came with Batman, Catwoman, the Riddler, who we'll get to later. Also Commissioner Gordon. Like almost every figure besides Penguin is in that set. So that'd be a great set to get if you wanted to have the actual figures. But yeah, I use everything from that same Alfred figure. I just think it's it's excellent. I like the face printing you can see there. It's really nice. Got that receding hairline. And then you got an angry face on the back. And then you got a torso we've seen on J. Jonah Jameson. You've seen it on a lot of people. I'm sure like random characters have used it as well. But yeah, that is Alfred. Next up, we have Commissioner Gordon, who I think was a really good figure. I didn't make any changes to him. I just used the same exact figure from that back cave break-in set. I put on a pistol here. Not the one he came with, but a different one. It's like from Han Solo. It's just that really cool gun there. And I think that looks more accurate. And he has this face, which is kind of a stern looking face. And then he has this angry face, which looks really cool. And yeah, that is Commissioner Gordon. I think he looks really cool as a Lego figure. Next up, we have Selena, Selena Kyle, or 
you can, you know, we're well as Catwoman. I use the hair, head, torso, arms, and hands all from the original Catwoman figure that came in the two out of the three sets. And I put some legs on there from one of the Death Star cannon troopers that have those nice legs. Have the nice printing there. They just look really good. And yeah, that's really all I did to Selena. She didn't really need that much of an upgrade. The Lego figure looked really good. And she's also got a second face. And if you didn't want the hair, you can put the helmet on she came with. And yeah, she's got her biker helmet there. But I like her more with the hair piece that they put on her. And yeah. I think she looks really good there. Next up, we have the penguin, and I used the whole figure all from the Batman car chase. Wish it came with a car for penguin, but didn't. That little $30 set that came with penguin and Batman. It was a really fun set, but yeah. I couldn't find his legs, though, so I just put on some legs from... I think they were from, I'm not mistaken, Gordon has the same one, so you can get them from Gordon. But yeah, they're just those tattered cape legs. They look better, in my opinion, than the actual legs he came with. But yeah, that is Penguin. Next up, we have Falcon, who looks like a really good figure. Not my best figure, but a good one at that. I use the hair from the Grandmaster. I mean, not from the Grandmaster. From Doctor Who. I use the head from the Grandmaster. I use the torso and arms from Nick Fury from the Shield Hello Carrier set. You can see I have it over there, that set. And then I put the legs on from Emperor Palpatine or from... That same Commissioner Gordon guy. But yeah, I think the head looks really good. Even though it doesn't have the glasses. It just looks for a menacing head there. And I think it looks really good to capture the likeness of Falcon there. And I think it looks really good. Last figure before we get into the secret figure. We have the Riddler, or Paul Dano's Riddler. I use the head, torso, arms, and hands all from the Riddler that came in the Batcave break-in. He's got that nice question mark there. He's got the nice goggles there. He's got the nice green jacket there. And if we move him around back, you can see he's got the hood there, which looks really nice got the plastic saran wrap on his head. The black pieces of tape. I think it just makes for a really, really nice Riddler figure. If you just take off the hair he came with. Because he didn't have hair on the outside of his mask. But yeah, I also put the legs on there from Black Widow. I think they look really good. And yeah, that is the Riddler. Next up, we have the Riddler out of the costume in jail. And I use the torso from Joker with the arms from that as well. From the Arkham Asylum Jr. set. Put some tan hands on there. Head from Egon Spangler. The hair from Will Byers from Stranger Things. And the legs here from Emmett to give him that nice belt grinning. He shouldn't have the name tag. You can get rid of that if you want. I don't know how, but you could. But I think it just makes for a really nice jail so Riddler. And I think that head makes good for it too. Because you got that scared expression. And then the serial killer expression for Paul Dano's Riddler. And yeah, we'll resume out and show you every figure. And then we'll wrap this showcase up. 
And that was it, guys. That was my showcase on Batman. It was a really good movie. I watched it in the theaters with my Nana. Or if you don't know what Nana means, that means grandmother. We go there every Tuesday of every a Tuesday of every month to see a new movie each month. Just the thing we do. Started it in December. And yeah, we've been doing that. And in February, we saw The Batman. And yeah, just a really cool memory I'll have of that. But yeah, that was my showcase on Batman. Hit the subscribe button down the below and put a big thumbs up on this video if you like Batman. And if you love your grandmother, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, if you love your grandmother, hit that subscribe button down below and hit a thumbs up on video. And yeah, trying to get to a million subscribers. I don't know if we'll do that or not, but we'll try. That was my showcase on the Batman. Goodbye.